This is Twit. I would like to preface this that I when I picked my app this morning, I did not connect who was going to be on the show. So Russell, I still love Pocket Cast, um, but I thought this is really interesting. And normally, um, my I'll, I'll give you an advanced criticism. This app is a beta or unreleased app. Uh, so it's early on, and it actually lacks. Um, you're gonna see a couple of things that it lacks that I think are key to it, but it definitely lays the groundwork for an interesting take on a podcast player. It's called Voce, V O C E, Voce podcast player. And basically, what it is is is, and this is the, my criticism of it. It's only limited to these five podcasts currently. And if you tap under subscriptions, Jason, you can um, not subscriptions. Go to Discover, and then on the lower left, and then coming soon. Uh, they have shows. Uh, they have shows that they are taking votes from people to say what they want the next one to be added to the app. The reason why there isn't just a general search and you can't add any podcast to it, and why they're limiting the shows are, is because what this is is that this is they're calling Voce enabled, and it's uh, interactive and tied to a timeline show notes. So oh. if you so if you tap on revision, just tap on that. If you scroll up through the timeline. As the show plays, it highlights and provides links and information to things that are discussed on the show. Hey, so it's, it's me. So yeah, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute. What a coincidence. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's and your picture makes it seem like you knew all along. <laughs> well, this is that you're on the fragmented Android yeah. developer podcast, yes. right? So, yes. so shocking. You know, there with, you go. With friends Absolutely. of the show, Russell. And yeah. Chuki, who was on a couple of weeks ago, and future guest in a couple of weeks, Huyen, and yes, and so much more. Nice. So, um, but anyway, let, let's back away from the Android one. Right. So we right. get less. <laughs> but um, if you go back to go to revisionist history, actually go to discover uh, and tap on revisionist history. Just tap on the the podcast revisionist history, and then tap on the basement tapes. Right. And so if you scroll up, you can see. So you know, early in the show, he mentions the Volvo S90. There's a link to that. Mentions mentions Robert P. Franz. Um, so they're going through and they are adding interactive show notes, which is really kind of interesting. So there's this timeline view, but then also if you scroll up, Jason, um, and you hit play, um, and then tap on the lower on the bottom. You don't have to listen to it. It's fine. It's just playing a podcast. You've heard that before. You see on the horizontal timeline there are little dots. And if you swipe, those are the pictures from those same things, similar to the vertical timeline. So it's two different, um, two different visual representations of the information there. And you can jump to that section. You can hear what they're saying about it. You can bookmark it. Um, you can see more information, um, or you can just get, you know, close it and hit the X button and get rid of it. So, um, but yeah, so uh, Voce uh, podcast player. So a little bit of a criticism that you can only listen to five shows currently, but if they if they open this up, enable uh, podcast creators to add in their own show notes, uh, this could be a pretty pretty interesting uh, approach to podcasting. And you know, one thing that we talked about, we talked about a lot, is that the podcasting app, you know, there's not a lot of room to maneuver in. Um, and this is this was an interesting, innovative take that I hadn't seen yet. So uh, yeah, worth checking out. So nice. That's all. Really cool looking uh, feature. Yeah. Def definitely requires really? content creators to I do a little bit of extra this, work. I want to use this, and I want to do some ridiculous stuff. <laughs> well, I would, I would like it. I would like it if they opened up their authoring tools, or if you yeah. could add podcasts and just use it. You know what I mean? Like, but they're being look because it's in it's in beta. They're being really um, closed in terms of what podcasts because they're cl clearly they're they're doing they're doing this authoring right they, i don't know whether they have a deal with these shows they're just using them as as uh you know guinea pig you know kind of test data stuff but um you know it shows the potential of it but it you know as someone who's written copious show notes over the years it to do this would be even added more uh more more work so uh but it could be cool it could be a way to give you more information from your podcast absolutely awesome free. Yeah. Uh, vo uh, v o c e vo vo voce voce voce, voce. voce. meaning voice voce yes. it's an Italian podcast a player okay it's a very good <laughs> so, so before we, Russell have you have you heard of this app before have you checked it out Ah uh, no this is the first time I'm hearing about it uh, this this sounds like a really cool idea this is something that we've um, been exploring for a long time is that um, it's if you're listening to a show and it's really really interesting like. Everyone wants more in-depth in sort of information. I like the way they've kind of presented it in that timeline-y sort of card thing. Um, 
I do wonder how they're getting this though. Do you have to manually type it in, or are they trying to have their people go through it, or what? Like, there yeah, might be some kind of scaling in, issue there. But yeah, what's the, yeah. what's the author that sounds really cool though. I like. It. Yeah, it is neat. Yeah, so keep an eye on it. So hmm. interesting stuff.